A venture firm wanted me to value a company they're planning to invest $17 million in. They have no revenue, but the founder had eight patents. Made me think how important patents are in valuations. That is because they protect a company's future. Investors and buyers always ask if a company's products have patent protection. That is because patents lend credibility to a company's products. Let's see what a patent is worth. Hi, I am Bharat Kanodia. I have appraised over 2,000 businesses worth $2.6 trillion. I help founders, venture capitalists, and business owners maximize the value of their companies. There are over 3 million patents granted by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office with about 350,000 new grants each year. IBM alone has over 90,000 patents. Including attorney fees, a patent can cost up to $50,000 to register. No wonder this is a booming area of the law. My colleague and Silicon Valley-based patent attorney, Dr. Stephen Colby, will talk about why patents are crucial for startups and growing companies. All you, Steve. Thanks, Bharat. That is a really important question. And I see a lot of wrong answers out there. Founders will say something like, oh, we have a patent application filed, so we don't have to worry about competition. That's the wrong answer to give an investor. When the fact is that it'll be three to five years before their patent application turns into a patent, and then it could cost millions of dollars to enforce. But patents can be very important. I work in the environment of Silicon Valley startups, where companies go through multiple rounds of funding. Here, patents are important from a valuation point of view. Every time the company raises money, they do so at a valuation that determines how much equity the money costs them. The better the patents, the better the valuation. As a patent prosecutor, that's one who writes patents for startups. My goal is that my work on an air patent portfolio pays for itself every time money is raised, and especially on later rounds and on exit. At these times, patents can make a really big difference. One way to view startup patents is as a multiplier. A good patent portfolio can have a multiplying effect on the underlying value of the business. It can, can, can increase at 10, 20, or even 50%. Of course, this means that if the business isn't worth much, then the patents give you a multiplier of something really close to zero. The point is that if patents are usually much more valuable when associated with a good and successful business. And a business with a good IP is worth more than one without. In my career, I've seen a couple of times where the patent portfolio was a principal factor in a successful exit. A purchaser had a choice between two possible acquisitions. They purchased my client for hundreds of millions of dollars instead of a competitor, in part because the, my client's IP portfolio was much better. One of the questions that startups often ask themselves is, how do I decide what to patent? Well, if you want to build real value, there has to be a, a well-executed strategy in place. The trick is to focus on the things that really sell a company's products and services. Those are the things that a company's customers want, the things that drive them to the co company. Patents should make the sales and marketing team really happy. Those with winning portfolios look at the product or service features that help them sell and then they patent the underlying technology that supports those features. I'm less concerned about what engineering thinks is really cool as I am about what really turns on sales and marketing. Thank you. Back to you, Bharat. Thanks, Dr. Colby. Great to have you. Rule of thumb. Tell me if you have heard any of these before. Reserve domain names and social media accounts for your companies and products so your online reputation is protected. Hire people who build stuff on their own time, just for fun. These are more guidelines 
than actual rules and will help you understand why patents are so valuable. The easiest way to value patents is to follow these four simple steps. Step one, ask yourself three questions. Is there any direct cash flow associated with your patent? Or if you did not have this patent, would your product suffer? Or would any other company, maybe your competition, benefit by having these patents? If the answer to any of the above questions is yes, then your patent has value. If no, then your patent may have minimum or no value. Step two, when does your patent expire? Or how much time do you have to enjoy this cash flow? Step three, take the annual cash flow from the patent and multiply that with the time you have left on the patent. Step four, the value of your patent is anywhere between 0.1 and 0.15x of the product from step three. This will give you an approximate value of your patent. Of course, it's not a perfect number, but it's a good starting point to start your discussions. In today's world of advanced technology and brain power, patents are no different than any tangible asset like gold or oil or warships. They can be created, need protection, and can be monetized. Paraphrasing Bill Gates, if people understood how patents are granted when most of today's ideas were invented and had patented them, today's industry would be at a standstill. Thanks for watching.